When you walk into an outlet store, you're not really often getting anything that's a big bargain. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you read it right. Today we're going to be talking about whether Bista Village is a scam. My love for the Bista Village designer outlet is not a well-kept secret, so this is going to be interesting. Bista Village is one of the most well-known and famous designer outlets here in the UK and I'm obsessed with it. I go there all the time. As you would have seen in my previous Bista Village vlogs and in one of my Bista Village unboxing, where I unboxed a bum bag that I bought from Bista Village. Someone left a comment on my video saying that that was an outlet made bag. And I was like, what? Hold on, what do you mean? So I then done my research of Bista Village and also the differences between outlet and retail. So if that piqued your interest, then keep on watching. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lorraine and my channel is Lovely Lux. I focus on curvy fashion, luxury, lifestyle and travel. And if you love that too, and I hope that you do, then subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell and join the family. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between outlet and retail, the truth about outlet stores, well, the ugly truth about outlet stores, whether I would recommend buying from outlet or whether it's better to actually buy from retail. What is the definition of outlet and retail? Retail is when you're buying from the original store, you're buying it brand new and it's either new season, a really popular item. The majority of the time it will be full price unless they're having some kind of discount or sales. Outlets are discounted prices for previous stock or dead stock or designer or any other store. Well, so we thought, right? So when it comes to outlet stores, they are two types of stock. So the first one is leftovers or poor stock. So something that was originally sold in the retail store, but for some reason it didn't sell as well as they should, or it's a leftover. And then that's usually taken to the designer outlet. So a few examples is if you go to Bista Village, for example, and you see a handbag that you would have seen in the retail store, for example, my Balenciaga to mini that used to be sold retail but it's currently now being sold in Bista Village or if something is just dead stock or leftover stock again this will be then sold in designer outlets. The second type of stock is outlet made products. Now this is something that I was actually not aware of so 60 to 70 percent of items in outlet stores are outlet made. Okay, so this means that some brands actually make specific stock for outlet stores. Have you ever wondered why have I never seen this bag or this item or this shoe being sold in the retail? It's because sometimes that bag or that item was not made for retail and it was specifically made for that outlet store. When it comes to Biston Village, for example, the Gucci bum bag that I bought, which I'll link in the unboxing somewhere up in the cards here so you guys can check that out there's a huge huge possibility that that item was outlet made what evidence and proof do i have not only this gucci bum bag from Bista village is outlet made but there's other stock and products which are also outlet made two things how is it every single time i go to Bista village there's certain items that are always in stock or when you ask the sales assistant, they'll be like, oh yeah, we're getting it back in stock. We're getting it back in stock. If it's a leftover product or a product that didn't do so well, had poor sales, surely it's going to run out at some point, right? You can never have a never ending supply of retail stock. The second thing is price. Now I'm not complaining because I love a bargain darling. When I see a cheap or discount price, I don't tend to question it. I'm like, I'm buying it. Because if you think about it, this is marketing 101 because they're using basic psychology. As human beings, we are wired to always look for cheaper deals, a shortcut. We always see the cheaper price first. You're not going to do a lot of questioning when you see it was this price and now it's now this price. But also you need to think, you ask yourself, why was this item so much cheaper than if I was buying it retail? Now, if you actually consider the poor sales, the leftover products and items, if you look at the pricing, 
the discount is not that great however if it's outlet made it will sometimes be like 50 percent or 60 percent off like yes sometimes it can do with the particular item how well it did or how well it didn't do how popular it is in the outlet and stuff like that but also if it's outlet made then obviously it's going to be cheaper than something that was originally made for the retail now what do i mean if it's outlet made is there an actual difference with the quality of something that's made for retail and something that's made for an outlet and the quickest answer to that question is yes if something is outlet made then it's price in relation to it being outlet made you have to take into consideration the labor that's gone into making that product and also the material that's gone into making that product at the end of the day the brand has to make a profit either way so majority of the time for outlet made product the material or the outer core material might be the same but it might be different it might be like a cheaper leather or, or something a different kind of canvas or maybe different zip the stitching will be different and stuff like that because the labor is going to be cheaper the materials are going to be cheaper uh go the price of the product is going to be cheaper is there anything wrong with having outlet made products for outlet stores in my opinion i don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as stores and outlet stores are not trying to portray an outlet made product as like a leftover retail product then that's fine however majority of the time these designer outlet stores make it seem as though their products are from retail products people should make informed decisions if i want to buy an outlet made or designer factory made product then i will do so knowing what i'm getting into in terms of the quality how long or sustainable that product is going to be as opposed to thinking that i've got a cheaper deal or a discount three or four times more expensive if i had bought it in a retail price so this begs the question is it better to just buy retail and buy something brand new wait for the sales and things like that now this is quite a subjective question that you have to ask yourself if you're looking for new in season popular items you're obviously not going to find that from outlet stores retail would be so much better for you but if you don't mind the possibility of buying an outlet made item then outlet stores will be absolutely for you i don't think that bista village is a scam i think it's just like any other outlet store as a consumer it's your responsibility to do your due diligence to know what you're buying and also where it was made and also how to spot whether something is outlet made or not now how do you spot if something is outlet made so if you would like to be an informed consumer and know how you can spot the difference between outlet and retail when you are in an outlet store to know if something is outlet made then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so you do not miss that video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this video were you guys aware of outlet made product if you have enjoyed this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up as that really really helps me out and if you come all this way thank you so much you're a real one but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so you never miss out a video for me make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i'm gonna see you back here in my next video bye guys